what's up guys, of course, welcome to another video from, of course, me, the Scarinder. And yeah, welcome to our, actually our first TBU analysis video against our opponent this week being, of course, Necro Stevo or Eterna Sidiendis. And yeah, I mean, you have this roster here on the right. And yeah, I'm basically going to go over my thoughts and what I was trying to create here. Um, we're actually going to battle today on Sunday, and uh, I just actually made it out of my TBU, I actually made segment finals, which may or may not actually help this video to become a bit lazier. <laughs> I'm really short for time, so I'm building a bit of an easier kind of setup and just try to explain what was going on. I really want to make a showdown presentation, but did not save on showdown the team I was building so I'm just gonna explain it and you're gonna have a static picture and you're all gonna be just about fine with that because if not then no shit <laughs> so that was one minute of me rambling now let's actually get to it his complete roster is as follows Dragonite, Mammoth Swine, Rebellion, Alligator, Whimsy God, Romadies, Archaeops, Garbador, Fargo Z and Pawn Yard now I did say in power ranking that I think this is the weakest team when I say stuff like that, you have to take into consideration that it doesn't really matter what I think, because I know an opponent that I'm going up against is good, which means that it doesn't really matter how much I want to bash on a team when I know an opponent that I'm going up against are smart and well-constructed. So even if I want to go out of my way and say that I have a team advantage, um, I might as well just state the obvious and say that his skills are just about the same as mine, if not even higher, so I'm really sure he would pull this off just fine, so I really need to get out of my way here. Uh, he has Mammoth Wine, which means that he should be doing very well against me. Um, as you guys see here on the left, yeah, this is my complete team, I settled for. I have a Tyranitar on the team. Uh, Tyranitar there to deal with his Archaeops and Porygon C and Garbodor to some extent. Uh, now we could pack, pack Drain Punch and Delts, that's a thing, but I'm actually packing Earthquake, Stone Edge, Stealth Rocks, Thunder Wave. So Transfer is mostly here to force out Mons. It can take a plus one Dragon Dance, uh, Earthquake, or Outrage, it doesn't really matter. It has Sugar Berry to deal with the Mammo to some extent. I'm not particularly fond of singing against it, but you know, that's kind of a thing. And um, yeah, basically, the only Mon forcing me out are actually Cobalion. The rest of the Mon are either. Kind of weak to it or struggling against it, and uh, if I can get a combination of Thunder Wave and Stealth Rock, I should be fine. Uh, the other one I decided to bring was Tentacruel with uh, 252 HP, 156 uh, defense, being bold, of course, very, very defensive, and 96 in speed, basically, to uh, speed creep, uh, adamant, base 80 mods such as Dragonite and Mamma, which are the only relevant mod I need to watch out for. Uh, Tentacruel overall uh, shuts down. Cobalion, it can't do anything outside of saying I'm going rock against me, which I can rapid spin away. It doesn't have a rapid spinner, or I mean, um, a, a spin blocker, so I should be fine doing so. And yeah, basically, Dragonite is probably the only mod that could, and of course, Mammo, um, but being the ones that could force this guy out. Uh, if I come to a situation where Dragonite has lost his Marvel scale and I'm a good amount of HP, uh, he has to be jolly to outspeed me, of course. Uh, that means that his Earthquake will do at best around 70, he has to be adamant to Okomi, uh, which also means that I will be faster, and if I've broken his Marvel scale, it's gonna die to an Ice Beam, basically. Uh, Garbodor, Healing Wish, uh, Psy Shock, Moon Blast, and I do believe Focus Blast. Focus Blast basically for the Paragon C, but Healing Wish, of course, is to su support the whole team. It is Scarfed, uh, team in base 80, which means that we are faster, or we're speed tied with a Dragonite, a plus one if it is a Jolly set, and we're speed tied with a Star of Mammoth Wine. That's pretty much the size of it, so nothing big to it here. Uh, then we have Keldeo, uh, Expert Belt, standard stuff, 252 HP, or 252 uh, Special Attack and Speed, to speed tied with Cobalion basically, Sacred Sword, uh, Scold, Icy Wind. Um, really nothing to it. We have Calm Mind in, in case a situation comes. But basically, there aren't really a whole lot of more I can set up against, but the ones I can set up against are pretty much a GG area. Now, the last two months are the months that kind of finish up this game just fine, depending on what's happened. Uh, we have a Joshua Berry Thunderous, because it, it just works. This is probably the model that I can use to make Mammoth Wine stay in. Uh, we have Sludge Wave, 
Thunderbolt, Grass Nod, and Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is there for if uh, Freligator or Dragonite gets out of hand. Uh, shut them down is really what I want. And if anyone is, is Scarf by any fashion, then we're going to shut that down too. Mammoth is the only one stopping this. With Yasha Berry, Ice Shard does around 60%. So, yeah. It won't kill us, and Grassland is a guarantee Oko. So, yeah, that's that's about the size of it. If I get Mammoth one out of the way, then that's GG. And the last one I'm using is, of course, you see in the Dark of Shadows. They're at Charizard. And, yeah. It wins me the game, basically. There's really nothing to it. I have Dragon Dance. I'm adamant. I have 252 in attack and uh, 48 in HP and I do believe 208 in speed to speed creep, jolly, dragonite and mammoth wine. Only thing I really, if I pull up one, um, is, is, is actually kind of incredible to think about it. One dragon dance and it's GG. Like his whimsy card could possibly set up stun spur on me or sleep powder, but that's about it. Like that, that's, that's all that's going to happen. Um, he can't stop this mon in any fashion after that. And he has no mon that can take the onslaught that uh, Charizard X is bringing. Now, with all that said, uh, I do go into rely heavily on Thunderous. Uh, I won't lose Thunderous in case I... Or I will lose it if I feel that the situation are as clear as it could be. I really need to preserve Thunderous until the Mammoth one is gone. But that's about it. But I think Funner is going to be a major player. Uh, the team I see in him bring is definitely Dragonite, Mammoth, Wyco, Balion. They are definitely up there. For Alligator, some extent, Whimsicott, I could see. And the last one being either Archeops, Garbodor, because uh, they are doing semi well here. Uh, but Mammoth Wine is a guarantee because it just hurts my team so well. It's actually kind of annoying how well it does against me. Kind of need to patch that, to be honest. It's actually kind of bad. Um, because the, the mods I'm leaving out is Stoutland, Sandslash, Dewblade, and Tangrowth. And they are semi-weak to Mammoth Swine too. So these six I'm bringing are the ones that are the most effective, but they are still weak too. It's, it's actually... It's beyond me how I didn't see this one. I actually have, I do believe, eight mods weak to Mammoth Stab, so that's... That's something. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it's seven. Yeah, that, that makes it all better. But yeah, um, that's pretty much my idea. I mean, it's nothing big this time. Uh, I'm staying really safe and really aggressive. I don't see Necro Stevo actually winning this one. Uh, sounding really adamant, but it comes down to that he has to play a much better game than his team is. And... Um, yeah, if you know, if he has, he, I know he's a good player, so it's not like he doesn't have that in him. But uh, I'm, I can play a lot safer than he can this game. So that's something that I'm going to take advantage of. Um, and this time I really don't want to be wrong because I actually lose my previous game, so I really need to win this one. That's why I'm playing. We're bringing so tough of a team here. It's basically here to to make sure that I don't lose. Uh, so yeah, everybody, I want to thank you for watching. This, of course, will be uploaded on Tuesday, as you guys obviously are seeing. And uh, yeah, I mean, the game's going up tomorrow, Wednesday. So wish me luck, guys, and I see you in that video. Until then, take care. Bye.